Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me today. And uh, Brother Dan has probably, I think these prophecies are getting stronger and stronger and stronger if you listen to our last ones. So this one is strong. So I'm going to be in uh, three books today, uh, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Revelation. New King James Version Study Bible, Ezekiel 37, um, 8 to 10. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly great army. And we have a video up with that exact title. Next, I'm going to be in Daniel 7, uh, verse 24 to 25. Let's see, where are we here? The ten horns are ten kings, who shall arise from this kingdom, and another shall rise after them. He shall be different from the first ones, and he shall subdue three kings. He shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law. The saints shall be given into his hand for a time and times and a half of time. Next is Revelation 13, uh, let's see, verses 5 to 8. And he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for 42 months. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life, slain from the foundation of the world. So we're talking about Israel, the house of Israel, and we're talking about uh, the Antichrist, the beast. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got this word on February 2nd of 2013. Shall truth not reveal its purpose? Has innocence not spilled its blood to do my will? Where judgment ceases, forgiveness begins. Has time not proven to be a valuable teacher? I have called upon thee to speak of my will. Speak, son of man. Speak of my truth. Speak of the fate of nations. Shall my words not embolden men's hearts? Shall I not now invigorate thy spirit? Shall what I not ordain from the beginning come to pass? What is spoken this day reveals much. Shall the dry bones seen by spoken by my prophet Ezekiel not develop sinews and become as one? Shall the kings of nations deceit not be revealed this day? Their promises are made to be broken. Their words serve only them. Fortify thyself for treachery breeds amongst thee. Though their words will appeal, appear sweet to the ears, they will prove to be bitter. Evil has found a home in their house. They cast aside the true believers, and they shall be marked as one. The signs are visible to those who have eyes to see. Those with closed lips speak much. Shall courage not show its face when called upon? The time of persecution has begun, 
Will you be found on the Father's side? Amen. Amen. And that is very strong. And uh, as, I, as uh, Dan read this message to me, the Lord gave me the interpretation of it. So uh, by now you probably saw the video with the interpretation first. And the interpretation is, in a short version here, is that the army of Israel is going to be a great, exceedingly great army. And the kings of the nation of the ten uh, spoken of in the Revelation and in Daniel, evil has already entered their hearts. So they're already ready to go. So, wow. That's so strong. It's just shocking. So, and then... Uh, what else got me here going? There are so many different things in this messages. These things are being revealed now. Everything is going to be fulfilled as scripture. And uh, again, if you've listened to our last uh, several messages, I have the clock stopped already. Wow, you need to listen to that one. A half an hour of silence and one hour of judgment. So again, uh, the Lord is coming back. Uh, the armies are getting prepared, the army of darkness, the army of light. You want to be on the side of the light. Uh, you want to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2.38. And again, we are on here on YouTube to call all of those unrepentant, unsaved, unbelievers to the Lord Jesus Christ. Call on Him now and uh, spend eternity with Him. So I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23, 2015. Yom Kippur, David Tom, and Amen. Amen. Shalom.